Hi, welcome back to the bench. Today we have a little LED uh, floodlight, which I picked up from eBay. Um, I don't remember how much this cost. It's like $10, just what like that uh, delivered. Uh, it comes in a little funky, wonderful uh, remote control, is the word I'm looking for. Thinking about the word in front. And, um, you know, I've had a couple of these before. Uh, I have another one somewhere kicking around here where I should know where it is. But I don't because I'm a goof. Anyway, I have another one here somewhere. But anyways, that was just a straight uh, white uh, floodlight. And um, maybe not dangerous, but it came with the uh, ground lead unconnected, which apparently is normal for these kinds of things. So, of course, the first thing I want to do is I want to pull this off and see what it's like. So I figured I'd turn the camera on and uh, do that together. So I've already taken the screws off in the corners. There's four of them. Uh, you know, somewhat machine screwsy, nicey. So coverage comes right off. And you end up getting... A plate of glass which you know is pretty typical it's cracked and there's you know, a bunch of debris will fall out so be careful when you do that stuff and um, there's a nice little rubber gasket and boom there we are and now the first thing that stri strikes me is um, of course we have our little LED uh, we have our uh, IR sensor two things um, I don't know if this is normal or not, because I the previous light, light that I the floodlight that I got uh, the ground was not connected, but by default this one is connected. So if you're so this one the ground wire is actually shorted. So that's kind of cool. So that means that by default this one came to me safe, which is you know kind of fun. So let's go ahead and continue pulling this thing apart and see what we got. But I can already see in here that uh, there's not the typical sort of metal encased power supply um, or control circuitry, which is interesting because a few of the teardowns that I've seen uh, on these kinds of floodlights, it's sort of encased in sort of a metal uh, uh, sort of container. Voila, now look at that, that plastic. Uh, man, that's not good. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that'll catch fire and, you know, burn your house down. Oh, all right, so maybe something's wrong. And this didn't, feels like very, very, very f thin, flimsy aluminum, so great. Anyway, so definitely you'd want to remove this plastic uh, before putting this back together. However, if we take a look inside here, so we have our little control here. And this one <laughs> looks like it's simply three wires that are just plugged right in with little push pins like that. You see that? Like that. So that's fun. At least they're color coded. Yes indeed the ground was connected here and that's not too bad. It's crimped and that's pretty good actually all considering. And here we have so you can see we have a power supply. I don't know if I can get a, uh, get a light in there. Can sort of see what we've got in there. I think I'm gonna open this up. A couple of diodes. There's a bridge rectifier, full bridge rectifier actually by the look of it. Cap. Power di power resistors. Our connection for our uh, LED. Huh, interesting. So that looks very very interesting so I'm kind of curious on uh, so it's like three strings of three um, so I wonder how much power is actually being put out by this thing but uh, I think we're gonna have to plug this in and find out so I think that'll be the next step all right so what we got here is a setup and recipe for disaster um, so we have our plug wired up um, Clearly this is not the safest thing in the world to do, so please don't do this. Um, but, for the purposes of getting a quick little idea of what's going on, I think this will be just fine. I don't know if you'll be able to see all that. I'll just reframe this a little bit. There we go. Welcome to the rest of my bench with all the crap on it. Alright. And we're settled in nicely. Okay. So, plug 
that in there. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Put this back here. Turn that on. Whoa! Ah! Well, that worked. Uh, of course, the thing does suck 0.4 of a watt, 0.5 of a watt in standby, which is you know kind of shitty. Don't think it remembers its last setting though, brightness setting. No, it doesn't. I think it goes full power. Just gonna just. White, blue. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pulling about 3 watts no matter what I'm doing here. Well, clearly this thing is not a 10 watt. Um, <laughs> by no stretch of any imagination is this thing 10 watts. It's pulling worst case, or by worst, probably best case, about 3.5, 3.5 watts. So, the final assessment of this is that, uh, while kind of cool, fairly lightweight and very small and potentially even watertight. <clears throat> um, this is not and and you know one other really good thing so even though this is sort of dubiously heat shrunk um, in theory you could take uh, some more heat shrinking just chop this off replace the input mains lead and then reheat shrink this and you know this would be fantastic. So this actually may not be such a bad light. I'm not entirely sure how much how many lumens this is. Um, however, why don't we go and measure that? So we'll go ahead and turn the bench lights off. Um, this will this will just give us a basic idea of how much light output we're getting here. So what I'll do, so I'll hold this honking piece of junk, uh, we'll get this set up here, Actually. <clears throat> and we will power that on. <coughs> okay, so we're set up to Lux right now and we're reading uh, approximately set this up a bit better. There we go. Alright, so hopefully you'll be able to see that in the background. So, um, we'll just calibrate this like that. So, zero it out. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is hope to heck this doesn't A, electrocute me. Well, I probably should have measured that, but anyway. And uh, I'm going to just uh, hold this right here so it's out of the way. And we'll hold it approximately a meter away and measure what the light output is of this thing. And we're going to put it on so it's full power. Oh, that's down. Okay, so that is full power. White, uh, yellow. Red, green, that's crazy green now. Blue, oh, that's crazy blue. So white's not bad. It's a little, little powered. And to give you a difference, we'll go and turn that off, and I'll turn my bench lights on. These are at full power. <clears throat> yeah. Um, maybe we need to change the range. <laughs> so at full power, at, at basically roughly the same height. Uh, both this light, this light's about 100 lumens, give or take, and the um, the light on my bench is about 530, we'll say, lumens, uh, measured at roughly the same height, although maybe it'd be different if I put right underneath it, but you know, 540, it's, it's in the order of that, maybe, you know, between 500 and 600 lumens. I'm not going to get too touchy about the exact amount. So, that's interesting. Um, let me see if I can find that other light that I got, and we'll measure that one too. All right, so here we go. Here's the other light that I bought, and you can see it's uh, you know of similar uh, 
power. I should say it's of similar size. This is also a 10 watt uh, light. Actually, I should check to verify that this is actually a 10 watt. This might not actually be a 10 watt. This might be like a bit less, actually. Sorry, this is what it came in. Um, supposedly it's a 10 watt light. I'm not entirely convinced of that. Anyway, 900 lumen brightness. Brightness, hmm. Clearly not a 900 lumen brightness. But anyway, so again, uh, the bench is about 500 and something. So we'll turn the bench light off. <clears throat> we'll bring this light at roughly the same height. Could be a bit lower, but you know, tuck a couple inches, not a big deal. Down, flat on the bench. And we'll turn that on. And lo and behold, only about 230 lumens. So this is roughly about double the brightness. Um, I mean, this looks really bright, but you know, I mean, again, there's a difference between this and um, that. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's good for extra light, but not much more than that. So, uh, that is that. So again, you get what you pay for. In this case, I didn't pay a hell of a lot, but then again, didn't get a lot. So maybe everything comes out equal in the end? Mm, not sure. <clears throat> I definitely will want to try um, more powerful versions of these kinds of floods because I'm interested in getting more light for the, the bench up here and around and whatnot and make it, ooh, making it um, a bit better for, uh, for watching. I was kind of hoping that this would be more of a, of a a warmer white uh, and this one too but this one's a very harsh white uh, unlike my bench light which I currently have right now is a warm light but this one's actually only a 20 watt or 25 watt uh, ceiling light that I have for, for my bench um, over my bench so far it's the best LED light uh, LED base light that I've ever or have, have seen so you know these guys aren't very big they're not very powerful but what are you gonna do right it is what it is so that being said, uh, thanks for watching and I will catch you later. Cheers.